Hey folks, Ray from Love you RV. So I'm pretty excited about this uh, new review of the Byte Tango 1080p observation camera. Now over the years, it's been four years now, I've been using the Halo View equipment as my rear view camera, backup camera system, wireless system, and it's performed great. I haven't had any problems with any of their equipment that I've tested so far. Um, but it's always been about 720p as resolution. Um, and now they've introduced a new system that's kind of like a, it's not going to work with the old system. It's going to be a brand new system, but it's got a few features that are very interesting and improvements. Uh, first of all, less lag and more powerful signal. So they've improved the, the technology there. So it says interference free reception for vehicles up to 65 feet guaranteed, even at high speed. Uh, also more sharper and better picture so it's got the 1080p hd seamless recording events with 1080p at 30 frames per section per, per second full hd resolution lens and also as an ips monitor display and then we have advanced functional linkage so this one's called the byte tango um, and it's able to work with halo views Sense 3 system, which last winter I installed on the RV and I've been testing it and I've been happy with it. It works quite well. It's a, a blind spot radar system that warns you if cars are coming up on each side of you. So what this is going to do is it's going to mesh. This system will mesh with that system. And when a car comes up beside me, it's going to auto trigger the photo from a camera on the side of the RV so I can see what's going on and then for the fourth uh, new thing it's got a much better night vision supposedly the old one kind of had that kind of you know grainy black and white or green image this one's supposed to have full color night vision so we'll, we'll have to test that out as well anyway they have uh, this is all new for Halo View just recently and the one they sent me out to test is kind of the middle one it has a rear view camera and two side marker cameras um, so that I so I can work with my uh, Sense 3 system. They also have a, a more advanced kit that has an one more extra camera, four camera system. Or if you just want just the rear view camera, you're not interested in the radar, they have a, a more moderately priced one. Anyway, let's take a look at this. There we go. So yeah, no, not compatible with the 720p wireless cameras. So you kind of like none of the older, older cameras will work with this one. Anyway, let's uh, maybe I'll take the box apart that I got and give you a close look at the hardware. And then I'm going to do an installation. I'm going to take off. I have the, the older system. I've had for a year or so I'll pull it off and install the new one and show you how the the installation works if you've missed the previous videos and if you you want to see any of my older videos I'll also put a link to a playlist that shows all those so let's get to work let's give you a look at what's in the boxes I got before I do the install over here would be what you would get if you ordered the the system with just the one rear camera there's a rear camera there, mounts on the back of the RV. So it comes with a, a, a hookup cable. And I noticed now they have uh, trigger wires on the cable. So say you were using it with turn signals, you could have a turn signal trigger the camera on. Also comes with a pairing cable that you can plug the display and the camera in at the same time and do a, do the pairing before it is actually hooked up. I find they're pretty good at having it pre-paired the camera and the display out of the factory but it's nice that they provide that cable because it's a bit of a pain if you're trying to, to pair the two where you're mounting it. Uh, we have three antennae. The display has two antennae and uh, this has its own antenna. And you got your hardware for mounting different screws, stuff like that. Here's the new display. They've actually put the buttons on the side. Traditionally, Halo View had them below. It's like a nice widescreen display. Sort of the same system they had before. On the back, there's a speaker. 
and then up top there's a slot to put in your uh, uh, SD card for recording. There's the two antenna hookups there. Get a power wire, runs off a cigarette lighter style socket. There's a, a shade for that. Comes with a dash mount, the 3M, so you can mount it on the dash. They do have other mounting options for their cameras. There's, a, I think, a bean bag. What I do is I mount mine on my actual rear view mirror. There's a Velcro strap that's kind of handy. I'll show you that when I mount it. And then there's also a, a mounting bracket for different types if you want to mount it up on the roof or different positions. So they do give you quite a bit of options when you buy these things. And then over here we have some extra wiring because, uh, like I say, this can do the, the Sense 3 radar units blind spot radar so they have all the wiring to hook up for that hook the display so that can go the their uh, little indicators sit on your dash and the and the the unit for the sense 3 radar sits on your dash so that'll that can hook it all together and then you can hide all the wires through the dash and then in this system it's the three camera system so we have two side cameras so and they also uh, have trigger viewing options as well. And then they sit, you can see where I installed my own old system on the side there, on the front marker lights. That's the old ones. So I'm gonna to have to swap those because the, the old cameras don't work with the new display because this is a 1080p full HD and the old system was 720. So they use different uh, electronics and signals. So you have to stick with the, the same uh, cameras to mate with the the same display so it's kind of a newer generation so I'll be swapping out my old ones and then they'll give views down the side but what's really cool with this is with those um, when I have my radar system going on when a car is passing me in my blind spot and my dashboard indicators light what that's gonna do is it's gonna actually pop up on my display that's cool and then they have different other mounts for this back camera. Um, I'm just going to probably screw mine right into the back of the rig. But other, another option is to do a magnetic mount so you could put it somewhere and take it on and off. And then we've got the, the antennas. The antennas can turn or be straight up and down. Manual screws, etc. So that's all the hardware. Let's get to installing all this on the the old cougar. Sorry for the background traffic noise. Uh, I'm just uh, at my sister's place right now doing some driveway surfing and I thought this would be a great place to do the install versus trying to do it in a campground. So before I go to the trouble of installing it I'm just going to do a quick check and make sure everything is functioning. Um, just with a portable power supply I've connected 12 volts here Got the couple marker lights here, and this is the backup camera camera right here. You can see the display is working. It looks really good. Just go through the cameras here, make sure they're all working. Channel 4 is showing the three cameras. It's just displaying inside my rig right now. There's one of the side cameras, the other side camera. Nothing's on channel 3 and then channel 4. And we'll just test the trigger operation. I'll just touch one of the trigger wires to, to power, like a turn signal would be on. And you can see it's switched over to the side camera. And I'll take the trigger off. Should switch back to the rear camera. There we go. Try the other side marker camera and it triggers as well so I'm not going to be be doing that I'm going to be running my sense 3 system and I don't really want that to work like that but I just wanted to demo that and make sure it was working so let's go put the cameras on the rig so here's the old marker light removed I installed a couple years ago I don't see any evidence of leaking, so the, the spongy rubber seal seems to do the job. And I've crimped 
the new one on. You can see on my particular rig, the white and green is positive 12 volt, and then the pure white wires are negative ground. So I just attached those with the crimp connectors they gave me. I'll just show you how I crimp them. I actually have a crimping tool. It worked pretty good. also see different holes here. When I installed these uh, over where my OEM marker lights were, I had trouble with my propane door here getting it open so I actually had to move the Halo View marker light camera system back a bit. That left a gap right at the bottom but what I did is I filled it full of a, a non-sag uh, sealant and it looks like it's been fine. Been through a lot of wet weather and even winter and no evidence of uh, water getting in there. So I'll put that back in place, push those wires back in and put new screws in there. You can see my dilemma here. Just need enough clearance so I can get into my propane tank. And that was just enough. Except down here I have a bit of a, a gap and like I say last time I just filled that with some non-sag sealant and it was fine. So the cover back on, do the other side, rinse and repeat. The other side I don't need to uh, do any sealant, it covers the hole properly. And the other side done, same deal, just have enough clearance here just touches and I can get my uh, tank in and out but this one there's no gap below it just had to do with where the OEM decided to to make a big hole for the wires <laughs> this one too has a little bit of a blockage not much I can do about it because my uh, awning is right in front so there is some adjustment to this I have it tilted all the way out there's a bit of a adjustment to and fro so I have it all the way out try to get as much view past that awning bracket as I can so here's the older model camera that I'm going to be replacing and I had uh, installed it right on the edge of the roof here and then I have a junction box to go down inside my RV it actually made its own power socket so I can connect and disconnect this camera straight to my RV batteries some people will utilize the marker lights. So when the marker lights are on, there's 12 volts present here. And a lot of times they'll use that to, to run the camera. Um, there even is a, a particular model that is a marker light and camera all in one, just like the, the side markers. But I don't think this, pat, this Tango has that yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of that camera and I'm gonna mount this camera right there, just above that marker light, and then I'll run the wire up into that junction box, because I like having the ability to control the power, have it on all the time. I don't have to worry about having the lights on to put power on it. And then they have a, a rubber gasket for water resistance drill some holes, pilot holes, and I'll use the screws that they provide and then I'll put some uh, sealant on the screw heads just to keep water out and get rid of this and do that. And I'll run the wire up and down through my uh, junction box. There we be. So just out of interest, a 564 pilot hole drill bit worked pretty good. The screws got some good bite into the back panel. Now I'm going to get up there and get that old one off, open my junction box and connect the wiring.
Okay, black to black, red to red. Red is what I got connected to 12 volt positive, black 12 volt negative. So I'll just tape that up, put it back in the junction box. There we go, cleaned up the roof and added a good dollop of self-leveling lap sealant. Lately I've been using this stuff called Alpha Systems self-leveling lap sealant. It's been doing a pretty good job actually. I did the previous one with this and the stuff was pretty easy to get off. It stayed pretty supple. Anyway, one thing they say is with this antenna, you want to point it a little bit uh, forward like that if the camera is below the roof line. You don't want it like that. They say you want to just tilt it a little bit forward. I guess it helps with the reception. So, all three cameras installed. Let's go plug the display into the truck and have a look at what we got. There we go. Looks like we got all three cameras working. Looking pretty good. I'll just switch between them here for you. Here's my driver's side camera. See the slide's still out because we're parked. Passenger side camera. Oh, my sister's lawn looks pretty nice. And the rear camera. A little bit messy there. <laughs> Got my water line and my macerator line and my power line and my brother-in-law was doing some kind of project over there. <laughs> Anyway, that's nice and sharp and clean. Looks good. Yeah, the colors look great. Great resolution. So I did a few tests at night last night as it got darker and darker. And I was really impressed with the night vision. It has color night vision. And it was getting really dark and it was still very bright in the display and also these cameras are capable of turning on a very super bright LED segment on them that's almost like a floodlight so I'll just give you a picture I took it was hard for the camera to to see it but it really lit up the the back of the rig so if you were going into a campsite late at night you'd have all three cameras could be lit up and there's a control on this display to turn that on and off so they've really really improved the night vision and of course the 1080p is really nice uh, they've also improved the the recording of it uh, some of the recordings of the old one <clears throat> kind of grainy but these are really nice so I'm quite impressed with both of those things let's just show you how I've got it hooked up to my Sen 3 system I'll link back to that install, but you can see it right here on my dash. That's the control box there, so there's some wiring hookups here. I haven't really done a good job of hiding everything yet, but uh, it hooks up no problem. So what that's going to do is when I'm traveling down the road, I'll have the rear camera on, and if someone passes me, it'll flick to the passing side camera. So. Can't really test it in the driveway, I'll have to test it as we're out and about. One thing though, um, is I like to have mine mounted on a mirror. There's several different mounts you can get. Um, you can get a beanbag mount for your dash, or that, that one that came with the kit where you 3M stick it. There's also a magnetic um, dash mount that I saw, but I actually have this strapped on my mirror by a velcro straps that strap on my mirror because I like to I'm towing the trailer so I don't really have anything to look at in the rear view mirror so this is makes it really great for me it leaves a nice clear view for me <clears throat> keeps my dash gun uncluttered and then I can have it up here but one thing I found with this system because it had the two antennas one on each side I wasn't able to put this antenna on or else it wouldn't fit. This antenna sits kind of snug up here. So I have found my trailer is quite short and there seems to be enough signal strength with just the one antenna to do fine. So I'm going to try it with the one antenna. Um, I could flip 
the display around and have the antennas hanging down and just reverse all the images like there's there's flip you can reverse things back and forth or up and down so you can change the images around but I'm gonna see if this works out for me also I could maybe get a, a different antenna that had a sharper right angle on it so I could mount it up there but anyway that'll vary with different types of trucks and RVs and motorhomes that sort of thing mine just has this kind of padded this is a Ram 3500 and they got this big thing here and it kind of gets in the way of the antenna I like to have it up quite high but the display actually sits higher than my old display because it's got the the buttons on the side here and it's nice they're lit up um, whereas the other ones had it on the bottom so it sat down a little bit further so, so this one's even more out of the way anyway there's a look at all the new features and the installation of the bite tango system and a quick demo stay tuned for the next video I'm going to take this out and use it for the next two weeks as we uh, move around the island we've got some trips planned a few different campsites so I'll put it to the test we'll see how it performs at speed we'll see how that uh, sense 3 blind spot radar system meshes with it and then I'll come back and give you my full review on this also go through all the menuing there and uh, let you know what that's all about we'll take a deep dive into that so till next time ray from love your rv thanks for watching everyone cheers guys <laughs>